everybody, it's Kristen. So today I have uh, my top 10 things under $10. This was um, a video that I actually saw, I think Sam Sherman did this, and I'm fairly certain that somebody tagged me to do this as well. I'm having some issues with Twitter right now. I don't know how to fix it. I can see on my phone when it's in like sleep mode, you know, that, um, and the birds are with us this morning, <laughs> um, that somebody has tweeted me, but when I go in to read the tweet on on my computer or in my phone, the tweet's not there. If anybody has any suggestions or um, hints on that, I would really appreciate it because I have no idea how to fix the problem. And I like to respond to everybody and I'm not able to right now because I can't see what's going on. So anyway, um, I thought this looked like a fun video and I thought, I, so I went into my collection, pulled some things. It's really hard to narrow it down to 10 and I also was trying to not talk about things I've talked about before, but there were definitely a few that I just felt like I couldn't skip over. So, um, having said that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I will do face things first. I don't know why, just cause. And I don't have any of the concealers that I have liked or anything because I've worked through all of those and have tossed them. So I picked some face things that I still have in my collection that I really like. The first thing is the Milani face powder. It's the multitasker. I have it in medium. So it looks like this. It's this kind of a package. I believe this still exists. You know, Milani, they, they did a lot of revamping of their line. So it has a little sponge thing in the bottom here. And it also has a mirror. And this is what the powder looks like. I am telling you, I have used this and used this and used this. And that pattern is still there. Mostly because you don't need very much of it, I don't think. This is a powder. It's a. It's actually, I would say, some people could use it maybe as a powder foundation. You can see how much color it has in there. Not sure if you'll be able to see it on my hand there or not. But um, What I like to do with this is use it kind of as a setting um, powder when I need a little bit more coverage, kind of like I, when I use my Laura Mercier. But what I like about this is that it gives a very interesting, almost velvet-like finish. And I really enjoy that about this product. So anyway, the, Mil the Milani Multitasker Face Powder, mine is in 03 Medium. Okay, for bronzer, and I discovered this um, via Emily Noel 83, and I love this bronzer. I used it all during Drugstore December and have kind of pushed it to the side just because I'm trying to work through the Too Faced one that I have, but I would definitely go back to this. And this is the one that has the four kind of quadrants there. I do like that you can kind of customize it if you want to. I generally just swirl it in the whole thing and, and put it on my face. At first, I was really kind of scared of it because um, it was a little, it's a little could be a little bit dark but if you can see it's gross but if you can see how dirty this is that's because this powder like I do with lots of powders or lots of bronzers or things with color is I'll swirl it in there and then I kind of tap it off on here you can certainly tap it on your hand but I feel like this kind of gets it in the brush more so I apply it um, in a more even manner so it's my little tip with that bonus tips from Christine <laughs> And then the last thing I want to talk, most people talk about these as great highlighters, but this particular color, as I throw it, this particular color, at least on my skin tone or lighter, is a really pretty blush. And this is the blush from Hard Candy. Looks like this, and it's in Living Doll. It's a very pretty kind of glowy light pink blush. So you can see that there is some color there. I'm going to do two swipes on my hand. I just think it's a really pretty, what you would call baby doll kind of pink. I really, really enjoy that. I'm laughing at the birds. <laughs> They're very active this morning. Um, okay, so eyeshadows. A lot of people will talk, will talk about um, Went Wild, I'm certain, during this sort of video. So I am going to talk about Went Wild. But I pulled a trio that I don't think gets talked about quite as much, and I think it's probably my favorite trio. And you can see by the fact that you can still read all of the words that you hardly need any. I usually kind of pick a corner or a part of, of a shadow that I use most often. This one is the Knock on Wood trio. I just really enjoy this one in particular, but all of the trios, the 8-pan palettes, the singles, well, aside from the limited edition 8-pan palettes, but anyway, the singles have, are very, very nice. I'll do a little swatch here. This is just gently rubbing my fingers in all of them. <clears throat> and I've said this before. One Wild is great because it's inexpensive, but if you're new to makeup, there are the three colors. 
it takes some getting used to because there is some serious pigmentation there. And so you can make mistakes if you're not careful. <laughs> so be very, very careful. Dab it off on your hand, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, also for eyeshadows, I just couldn't, I have so many of these that I really enjoy. I, I felt like I, even though I know a lot of people would say them, but the L'Oreal Infallible, frequently you can get any drugstore product at Walgreens for buy one, get one 50% off, that sort of thing. The color I picked this time was in bronzed taupe because I always pick Amber Rush when I talk about this product. So, you know, changing things up, you know, with the taupe because that's some big sort of change. I just got a whole bunch on my finger there. That looks like that. I'm sure you guys have all seen bronze taupe. Who doesn't love a taupe? <laughs> uh, yeah, so and for eyeshadow, I was going to pick Wet n Wild Nutty, but I thought if I picked that again, I might. you guys might all hit unsubscribe at one time because you're so sick of seeing Wet n Wild Nutty. Look at how pretty that is. I don't even want to wipe it off. Okay. And it doesn't wipe off very easily either. So two lip... or two... Uh, more eye things and then a lip product. This, I've talked about this before several times during Drugstore December. I talked about it a lot. I almost always have this in rotation. And this is the Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. I have a review of this that I will try to remember to link below if you're interested. It's just your basic brush, but I really like this. I really feel like it's the drugstore version of Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Brush-wise, it's very similar. It's a little bit bigger than that than the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, but great, great, great drugstore mascara, in my opinion. And it doesn't get a lot of love. Hardly anybody talks about that. And I, I know. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, seriously? But the CoverGirl Lash Blast in 815, or Shadow Blast in 815, and I'm telling you this because these are going away, I think, which makes me really sad. But they're on clearance everywhere, which is why I decided to go ahead and pick this one up, because if you haven't, grabbed this in my past 800 times of talking about it, go grab this now. I just had this in a video too. I don't remember what, what video it was. Oh, drugstore eyeshadows. That's what it looks like. It's taupe. I know. But it's a, an amazing base. A lot of people have, have purchased this. I actually got this because of my friend Jackie way long ago um, and have suggested it to so many people since then. So check this out. I don't know why they're taking these away, but apparently they are. I mean, I've used this forever, and I've, I'm only down to here. <laughs> it will last a really long time. Hook yourselves up. I'll stop talking about it now. Okay, and the last thing, last product that I have. Oh, no, not last product. The next product that I have, because I have a whole palette here. Because I'm pretty sure, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number seven. And these are new, but... These, this is awesome. Every time I wear this in a video now, you guys are all like, I love your lips. So this is the color in Aurora of the Rimmel Show Off. They, I, I thought they were called Apocalypse. I never even looked at what the thing is, but apparently it's Apocalypse in other countries and here it's Show Off. But this is the color Aurora. Not what I'm wearing today, of course. But I really like it. I know it's bright, but I, I very much enjoyed wearing these. I did buy another one, I can't remember, I showed it to you guys, but it's a kind of a peachy one that I really like. Then I bought one of the ones with shimmer. This, The two that I like are cream finish. The one with shimmer I don't like as well. It doesn't seem to reapply as well and that sort of thing. But I did kind of a first impression and let's see how it lasts through the day video with this, which I'll link below if you're interested. Okay, so technically I only have two more. Um... I'm not going to say anything about this. I'm just going to point it out. What, well, nutty anyone? Okay, so the last two things I want to talk about are single eyeshadows. And I, I get, in that same video that I did the Apocalypse, I talked about these CoverGirl eyeshadows. I depotted mine, but these are the ones in the little tiny pot. They're not much bigger than this, and they have a screw off top. And this one is in 355. And then the other one that I had that I wore in that video was in 330. These were super easy to depot, by the way. Whoops, as I throw it on the ground. They were really easy to, to depot. And, um, I mean, I think all it took was a couple drops of alcohol in there for about two seconds, and then they popped right out with a knife. So, um, I'll show you guys again. You guys have seen these recently. But they wore really well. I was really, really impressed with how well they wore, how well they blended and applied. There. So, do check a couple of those out. I mean, and they're like $4. No, not even. Three something. And I feel like, and somebody actually said in one of my videos too, that people kind of were like, eh, it's CoverGirl. You know, 
and I probably would have been like that too, but I thought, well, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. Okay, then the last, the last shadows that I want to talk about are the NYX Single Shadows. These things are like $4, maybe $5, and you can get them, buy one, um, get one 50% off sometimes at Ulta, but frequently you can get them like 40% off on Cherry Culture, and um, I, I'm not going to pick any particular color in general. Those are the colors that I have. And I don't actually think I've ever done a video on just those, but I do want to say, obviously I've talked about NYX True Taupe a million times, and for the record, it is, it is called True Taupe. There is a plain old NYX taupe that's different. It's a different finish. This is a full matte finish, and I think True Taupe has some satin, or no, I think Taupe has some satin to it. True Taupe is just matte. So that is what True Taupe looks like. And I, I mean... That shadow has definitely been talked to death by me, but I want to take the opportunity to make sure that you guys know that the one that I like is True Taupe, not Taupe. And then another one of my favorites is Hawaiian Coffee, which looks like that. All right, so those are my top ten. I think I actually, I actually followed the rules on this tag. <laughs> those are my top ten current drugstore favorites. And, you know, they change a lot, which is why I think it's a good video to do every once in a while because, you know, I might find something I like more, um, lasts longer than something else I was using. You know, you just never know what you're going to find. So if you don't want to see what's on the rest of my face, thank you so much for watching, or what's on my face. And if you do, I'm going to run it down very quickly for you. The same um, foundation that I've been using, the Bobbi Brown MAC for long wear. Um... For my concealer, it was funny, I pulled out that Milani concealer that I showed and the products I want to use up. I think two uses and it was gone. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, seriously, Kristen, it sat in my collection for how long? So I went back. I've been using the um, Precious Light. I have, this morning I didn't have a lot of dark circles and so this is from Guerlain and it's more of a illuminator, brightener than it is a concealer, but that is what I used under my eyes today. On my eyes today. I used the Tom Ford Quad and Burnished Amber and Amazon, Tarte Amazonian Clay Liner in Black. And I used a different primer today too. I, I meant to. I found a sample that I wanted to use up. And this is the Tarte Recreate Silicone Free Primer with Wrinkle Rewind Technology. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not sure it's going to really rewind my wrinkles. And then for blush today, I'm wearing the Bare Minerals Blush in Perfect Rose. And this is the one with the red cap that came in the first kit of the holidays. On my lips today, I have the Kelvin Klein um, Warm Up Lip Pencil. Which is pretty brown. I like it, though. And then I'm using, this is a lipstick I got from my beautiful friend, Sandra. And it's the only lipstick I have from Shiseido. And it's in RD734. Very pretty. It has a really nice kind of gloss to it. So, thank you again for watching. I hope that you have a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!